It's been three months, 87 days to be precise, since the government has been sitting on a CAG report on coal block allocations, a report investigating the alleged 100,000 crore rupee scam. Three months ago, the opposition was up in arms. The coal minister repeatedly denied the report reaching his office. The prime minister vouched to quit his public life if allegations were proven true and also said that the government had not received a coal scam report from the CAG. But here is a fact. Times now is in possession of this letter, which reveals that the CAG report was with the government 11 days before the budget session ended. Even as the pressure applied on the government inside and outside parliament in May, why didn't they table the report? Was the government buying time? Were they trying to avoid a controversy? Or was it just a delaying tactic? During this budget session in March, the government feeling the first effects of the contents of the CAG report on the coal scam. It reached a crescendo on the last day, opposition cornering the government asking for tabling of CAG report on the allocation of coal blocks. But the government washing its hands off on the issue, denying any knowledge of the CAG report. But Times now has a letter in its possession, which exposes to the government. Times now has a copy of the receipt of Rashtrapati Bhavan, which received the CAG's report on coal scam on the 11th of May 2012, at a time when the parliament session was still on in the budget session. The opposition had raised the issue several times during 11th May to 22nd May till the end of the budget session of parliament, but the government refused to table the CAG report on coal allocations in parliament. Letter with time sound clearly showing while the parliament was being disrupted over the coal scam, the CAG report was stuck in red tape within the government, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. But the heat generated by the CAG report was attracting attention, both inside and outside parliament, forcing the Prime Minister to clear the air. There have been reports about the allocation of coal blocks based on leaked portions of a draft CAG report on the issue. We have not yet received the CAG report. While the government tried its best to avoid any questions over the CAG report. I am not at all surprised and shocked over it because this is how the whole this system, all the economic and resource management in the country is going on, where illegitimate margin is being extracted from the public property for private beneficiaries, both in government and in outside, and they constitute the nexus. With the issue threatening to haunt the government in the monsoon session of the parliament, the government trying to play down the issue. आपको मालूम है अच्छी तरीके से मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ़ फाइनेंस को आती है सीएजी रिपोर्ट, फिर प्रेसिडेंट को जाती है, और फिर प्रेसिडेंट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ़ फाइनेंस को ही भेजती है। उसके बाद मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ़ फाइनेंस उसको टेबल करती है पार्लियामेंट में। अब ये मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ़ फाइनेंस के ऊपर है कब वो टेबल करेगी? उम्मीद करते हैं कि शायद इससे सब टेबल होगी। The opposition is not amused. The moment a CAG report comes about, in under our constitutional scheme, it is required to be presented before the parliament. Why it was not presented? We know that for a good period the Prime Minister was the coal minister. And lot of the irregularities are also referable to him. Therefore, we are very surprised, we are distressed, we are disturbed as to why it was concealed from the parliament. This is an issue which we, are going to, which we are going to raise in a very big way in the parliament. It is very clear that the opposition will train its gun on the government, especially because in this case, as far as the coal scam is concerned, the opposition has been training the guns on the prime minister because it was he who was in charge of the coal ministry between 2006 and 2009 when 146 private companies benefited from the coal licenses. A scam more than 1.5 lakh crores. In New Delhi, Navika Kumar for Times Now.